Today on Tech Thursday, we introduce you to the Ghanaian team using recycled material to build a robot that monitors underwater activities. Autonomous underwater vehicles or AUVs should normally cost about $70,000 to manufacture. But without external funding, the team is building one using basic materials and technology. Getty and Apia has the details in this report. Meet Dr. Mark Amobwating. He is leader of the Ghanaian team building a robot to monitor underwater activities. Autonomous underwater vehicles or AUVs are used to map out the sea floor. Ghana, Africa, it tells us like in terms of our sea security, knowing what is around happening around us in our shores, that will help us. We also don't know how much biodiversity we have that deep. Most countries in Africa rely on FAO. If you that's once so once a year or so they come around with their shipping vessel as they move around. So like when they get to Ghana, like Ghana will say like once you're in my waters, let me schedule a um a mission with you. It cost about seventy thousand dollars to build one. But Dr. Amobwating and his team are exploring low cost and recycled material from his storeroom, which doubles as his tech lab here in Sunyang. So with all those old laptop batteries, what's happening to them? Is it that they are really dead or we could recycle them? Mm. Okay, so besides we say, say, let's get a few of these laptop batteries, take them out and see what's well and what's up. If we went for all these batteries, we took them out, we, 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 take, we just take it apart and took their individual cells. Mm -hmm. Each one of these cells um, gives us an average of about 2.5 amp hours. Okay. So if you put 50 together, you are having about 120 amp hours. If you have six of this, you can... If you have six of this, yeah. then it can power an in entire household. Offshore operators in the global oil and gas industry often use AUVs. So Dr. Amobwading and his team applied for financial assistance from the Ghana National Petroleum Corporation, GNPC. GNPC has yet to support the team but their design has made it to the semi-finals of the Shell X Prize competition, a global solution-based contest. The requirement was that your system should be able to do about 16 hours of oh, underwater yeah. like mission. Underwater. So it should be underwater for about 16, 16 hours. hours. Yeah, without any um, any like it should be connected to any power. So it should be, all your power should be with, with your system. So it should be a system that contains power enough, enough. to keep it underwater for at least 16, 16 hours. hours yeah. They have just returned from Accra, where they submitted the device for testing by a team of tech expert judges from USA. We were impressed as we were trying to use things out of our local backyard to mm. build our stuff. And they said we are putting too much power. And they were actually scared. Like the first time we put in this into water, we were scared that probably somebody oh, could be, yeah, not even go, like, could get electrocuted. There's no water. This washing machine is being powered by the AUV they are building here. The batteries assembled in the robot generates enough power to sustain a four-bedroom house for three days. Now they await test results by the X-Prize team in the United States of America. But they face a tough one. They're competing with 12 other countries across the world. Beyond commercial offshore activities like oil and gas production, AUVs are also useful in military operations and general scientific development. Without external financial support, the team has had to improvise all through, including the use of baby diapers at a point to shield the device from water. Even though the team seem more thrilled now to explore this power generation module to support rural hospitals in Ghana, they are not oblivious that a win in the X-Prize competition means a validation of its low-cost module seven million dollars for development of this tech solution and the bragging right for both the university of energy and natural resources and ghana as a whole diapers empty sprite bottles and batteries from broken down laptops with these the young people here are hoping to build a high-tech underwater surveillance system they're not there yet, but what is not in doubt is their ability to assemble these to produce a much needed utility, power. What remains though, it's funding 
and a national support that will make their brains useful in solving national problems. Kifti Andopia, Joy News, Sunai. That is so cool. Stay tuned to News Desk. After this, we bring you an exclusive interview with former Vice President Park Kwesi and Arthur. Thank you.